But three months, I mean, that is, that's the toughest bit, I think. Yeah. Of, especially with your first, because you're yes. just getting used to everything. Mm. It's the biggest shock in your life when Absolutely. you have a baby, the biggest change in your Absolutely. life. Absolutely, obviously. 100%. And you, as a new mom, you can't learn as you go along because, um, yeah, you can read all the books in the world, but I think every child is different. You yeah. have to get to know your own baby. And um, I get a lot of help, obviously, from Ben, my mom, and his mom, which is incredible. You had uh, announced it in the Big Brother, Big Brother house. house. That's when yeah. we sort of got to know yeah. about it. But had you managed to tell other people? Yes, and that's exactly why I had to announce it in Big Brother, because it was the most important thing for uh, Ben to tell his twins, you know, prior to the show. Uh, but he didn't have them for a couple of days before the Big Brother started, so we couldn't announce it you know, sort of in the press or Twitter or anything like that. So I had to sort of go into the house and keeping it quiet till he t tells his family and his daughters. You know, that was the most incredible and, and important thing for us to make sure that, you know, they know first. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously when I was already in Big Brother, I knew that he um, uh, he spoke to the girls and then, um, you know, I had to announce in Big Brother. And also I thought, oh, maybe I'll keep it quiet. But then, you know, people were drinking in the house, doing crazy sort of um, tasks and so on. And I thought, well, how can I keep it quiet you know because I just I can't starve you know I can't drink I can't sort of do physical tasks so and it will be unfair on everybody else yeah, around me because what, we're gonna say well, what's they wrong just, with her they spot it, exactly spot it yeah. because they all say well she's physically fit what's wrong with her why, why she opts out from the tasks and so on and after you have a baby uh, as you'll you'll know although you look amazing you you call strength all those things change because so you're carrying changed. a baby yeah. obviously you know you're a dancer incredibly strong especially sort of your core and all that sort yeah. of thing you're very short going back to yeah. work how do you get all that so, back yeah. and knitted back together in position where it's supposed to be do you know what i think my body will never be the same obviously after having a baby but do you know what it's fine because she's the most important thing in the world and i'm not sort of um, um one of those women who's like oh my gosh i have to get back to my uh, pre-baby shape you know if it happens it happens when i start um dancing obviously preparing for the new show with lab you know hopefully i'll lose a little bit of weight but well, you, you know like you need well, to lose well, I, don't, I still need to shift quite a few pounds but the thing is, you know, I don't want to be obsessed with that. I'm breastfeeding, I, you know, I can't diet, obviously, because of that. You just have to be, you know, smart yeah. with your health, healthy sort of choices of food, but you can't diet or anything like that. And it's fine. Like I said, um, you know, hopefully dancing will whip me back into shape, but, you know, I'm not obsessed of sort of being stick thin. And are you missing Strictly? I mean, well, now it's sort of back on our screens. You watch it at home and think, oh! Yeah, well, do you know what? Um, I was asked last um, night, actually, that question, and I don't... I miss it in a different way. It's not like I would want to go back, to be honest. I had the most amazing eight years on the show, but I would never change it for the world to have a family and so on. But um, I guess I miss the professionals, you know, that banter we have, you know, all the group rehearsals, which were always so amazing, you know. And um, yeah, they're friends of mine, you know, so of course I miss yeah. them. And then I'm watching Strictly because I have my own column in the mirror, so I have to watch and then, you know, kind of give my verdict, you know, to who each couple. Who do you couple. think, uh, who are you tipping for? Well, the there is amazing dance obviously on the show I think the cast is incredible I love um, I think um, Claudia I think she's incredible obviously but it's sort of to be expected you know she's a um, Olympian champion she will be great Danny, Max Danny good, was yeah. absolutely outstanding I thought you know but for me judge Rinda did it all I know? loved him I, I, <laughs> I mean he so was much. I was like yes, yes I Rinda. know I know when he showed his abs I was like oh my god yeah that's amazing you know <laughs> go for it he was dancing actually has a great rhythm you know he has a good so I think we, we can see him really progressing yeah. on the way to the final. I hope so, because mm. he's he's really funny, charismatic, and not funny in the way of kind of John Sargent was, I suppose. No, you he's, know? he's, good. He can he's a good well. dancer, you know, yeah. a good, good mover, so yes. And yeah. of course we know that Len is leaving. Yeah. So who's going to fill that chair? To me, there's only one person who can fill the chair, and that's Anton Dubeck. Honestly, this is Tony. my personal <laughs> exactly. It's my personal opinion, and Anton is a great friend of mine. But I think he has what it takes to be in a judging seat because he's very charismatic, mm. very witty. You know, great sort of personality. He's very quick with his jokes. You know, and I think yeah, he's more than qualified. Obviously, he's been in Bulgarian Latin world for years, and then from the very first season, he's been on Strictly Come oh, yeah, Dancing as well. That's true. You know, he's known by all nation, loved by millions. So I think for me personally, it's Anton. All right. Yeah. For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Maybe you're unloved or lonely so um, and you feel that you can attack me and provoke so me. What are they saying? Um, I'm, I've got anorexia. I'm spiralling. My anorexia is spiralling out of control. I need to eat a pie. 
I mean, I was told for 18 years to stop eating them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So 